everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lines the Performance Shop at LoneStarMopars.com. It's Wednesday night, sometime around like 7.30 or 8. It was actually a really nice day today, and I tell you that why? Because it's not going to be nice in the morning. Come 12 hours from now, we're going to have uh, 50 mile an hour winds ushered in behind a cold front. And it's supposed to get to negative 35 wind chill. Not going to be super cold, like single digits, but with the wind chill, negative 35. That's kind of not fun, so I'm sort of pressed for time, and I'm going to try to get this done. My apologies on this being late. It was one of those things we were sort of late to the mix anyway, so I was going to delay it. And then it's just a situation. Went out of town on Thanksgiving. Uh, got sick. Totally lost my voice, obviously. Kind of need that to do most of this stuff. And, uh, yeah. After that, I've been slammed at work. Uh, left work around 8.30 last night, so... Anyway, we're going to cut right to the chase, and what we have here, since I'm one of those weird people that uses real titles and thumbnails, as you might have guessed, it is the Vera Advent Calendar for the calendar year 2022. Uh, big thanks to Colin at KC Tool for sending this thing out. Um, I tell you this, this is the most important part of this, because if you're seeing this, you fall into one of two camps. You already have this, you're getting this, or a camp too. You wish you would have had this. Uh, the Vera Advent Calendar is at least here stateside. This may differ across the pond or other marketplaces. In the U.S., this is by far the most popular. Uh, it's typically the cheapest. You know, that has a lot to do with, like, what's inside. Usually, you know, like, if Stavilla throws a whole socket set at you, it's going to cost more. But uh, the bottom line, around Labor Day, I know it seems early. You don't want to think about Christmas around Labor Day. But sometimes shortly after or around Labor Day... You'll start seeing these mentioned. And then a little bit after that, they hit stores. And after that, they're gone and they don't come back. And sometimes you can catch a restock. But the bottom line is, if this is something that you... This is why, if you're on the KC Tool mailing list, if you're not, you should be, because then you'll know these things without having to rely on a third party like myself. But if this is something that you're kicking yourself for, for missing again or missing this time... You just have to stay up to beat, uh, whether you follow someone on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever your preferred medium is, or you just stick to the website and you stick to a newsletter. Every single one of those avenues, if you're following Casey Tool, will get you up to date of, hey, these are coming soon, or these are in stock now. Pull the trigger then. Uh, these are at a price point. These are typically well under $100. Could they be tool of the day? Could they be slightly discounted? Yes. If any stock exists into the new year, let's say there's just a terrible advent calendar or it's regurgitations from the last two years and almost everyone has one. Could it carry over into the new year? Absolutely. And you might save a few dollars. But the bottom line, and the reason I'm stressing this, for those of you that missed out again or missed out this year, sometime around Labor Day is when you need to start being on alert and just pull the trigger uh, you will save yourself a lot of time and a lot of trouble just snagging it as soon as it is available. Uh, the other thing, I never know how to do these. I think, you know, my traditional style is just, we, ooh, where's one and we find it type of a deal. I'm not going to lie, I've got, I'm like super swamped. I probably shouldn't be out here right now, but I'm going to try a new style. And if we like it, great, we'll use it again. If we don't, uh, let me know if you have a different thing in mind, whatever your thoughts are. Let me know. If I had a desk calendar, I was literally going to just throw that down here and uh, put the put each individual piece out. But we're going to go ahead. Like I said, uh, most people have already had these, already opened them. Uh, in that case, I kind of wanted to wait towards Christmas. This is a little, like I said, I usually have videos recorded six months in advance, and I do. I have stuff I could release, but then this would be totally out of place. So bottom line follow KC tool get on the email list check the website daily whatever works for you and do not miss out on these if you're someone that wants to pick one up with that said i'm going to get this thing opened up let me know how you like this presentation this time around and then we'll check out what we got and talk about it all right i have to change the plans here i thought you know as i'm opening this what can we do to kind of make this more logical and well we're gonna go week by week here so day one we get the bit storage case again classic vera branding but in christmas color so it's sort of a timber green with a uh, christmasy red if you will this will just simply be a bit holder uh coming in next if i can remember the dates i guess it's not a huge deal if we botch it i believe two 
was a bit right here. The cool thing about these bits is they are stainless and I'm um, totally unable. We're going to call in assistance here. <laughs> so right here we've just got a slotted bit. Uh, they are stainless bits obviously, you know that is magnetic, but it is what it is. Uh, day three is going to be right here and you think like, oh hex keys. Well it's very similar to their hex key holders, but this one does something different. <laughs> And uh, I guess I won't even open it, we'll just wait. So day four, if I recollect correctly, was going to be another bit right here. Looks like this one is a number four hex fitting, right? Kind of makes sense there. I guess if you ever did hex keys, you could totally go that route, uh, just from a logical perspective. Number five, right here. That is right, you have double-ended jokers, kind of a highlight item for you. Um, 12 and 13 in this case. Flipping it around, you'll note the Take It Easy Tool Finder. That's going to be color-coded. Nice profile on these. We've covered them many times. Uh, the Alphas I'm rocking, they were the closest thing I thought I had to Santa Gloves. You're welcome. But, uh, these were bought for TIG welding. Uh, coming in next, though, six, we have got this guy, right? You're already getting the big guns out of the way. So we have what should be... Yeah, that definitely looks like a magnet, magnetic bit holder. Let's grab a standard bit of things over here. Listen close. If we can. I uh, should tell you right now, I have uh, torn a fingernail really bad <laughs> on my index finger over here. So, anyway, yep, definitely magnetic. So we get this guy. We'll kind of take a look at it a little bit better here in the not too distant future. And then day seven is going to be a number two. Looks like a posi bit, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go over that in more detail shortly. All that's going to come off the table. Here's an overview of this thing as best I can fit it. And we're going to move on to week number two here for you. All right, so up next would be day eight right here. Looks like we're going to have a T20 bit again. All the bits in this one are stainless. If we can find it, day nine right here looks like she's going to be a slotted bit. This is going to be a 5.5, five. Uh, 10, I'm not sure, right up here. <laughs> We're going to have the Christmas themed bit holder. Uh, very, very cool that they went ahead and included the color scheme there. Again, nice touch. This will be one of their rapid adapters as best I can tell. Uh, day 11, I want to say it was a bit over here. It's going to be a T15. Now you can't see that super well. Again, we'll go over the contents later. Oh boy, day 12. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it was a bit. Um, but where is the real question? That's <laughs> not the easiest thing to do with a giant camera in front of you. Uh, day 13, though, is going to be a double open-ended joker wrench. Again, take it easy tool finder. Sticks out like a sore thumb. We've got the 7 and the 6 in this case. 6 being blue, 7 in yellow. Day 14, right down here, going to be a bit. It is the T10, and that leaves us with 12. Where in the world is that thing? <laughs> it's right here in black above the steeple. So right here, it looks like we have a number two Phillips. So that was week two. I'm going to can it, and we're going to open up the next week. All right, so here we are, week three. We're going to get started right here. Interesting thing on this number six bit we actually do not have a take it easy tool finder uh, so that kind of makes it stand out for better or for worse 16 we've got the number five metric hex 17 we're up here we got another double open-ended joker this one is a 10 and an 11 10 in yellow uh, 11 in blue day 18 and we have got a well, it looks like a number one phillips here and then day 19 where would we be? Kind of try to lay this out, but you have to bop to each side of the uh, camera. It's not that easy. Day 20, we have the number three. Uh, day number one, 19, we've got a number one posi. And then 21, we actually get our second double open into Joker in this uh, iteration. We've got the eight and the nine. Eight in pink, nine in green. So I believe that is that. We'll come back and we will take on last few days of the advent calendar all right so continuing on we left off day 21 that means we are just about done day 22 i just saw it here a second ago it is going to be a t25 
can hopefully see right there. Day 23, another bit. This one's going to be our number two Phillips. I think I misspoke earlier. I think the black would have been a second number two posse. And that's about it. Or is it? There's one thing that's missing, right? The 24th. Now, where in the world is the 24th? Well, probably just jumped right into your frame, and that would be right here. So, if you know anything about the way Vera does advent calendars, they make it wait for what many people would consider the good part. Me, myself, I'm kind of more into the tools, but we'll use our handy-dandy chisel driver here and peel back, and you're thinking like, oh... A screwdriver. Amazing, right? It's got the Christmas theme. That other one was a magnetic bit holder. Is this a stubby? Is this a fixed handle? Is this like some cool new trick unit? That's another thing about advent calendars. You usually have some new product introduced. And you now know. This is what, again, what many of you will consider the high point of the kit. <laughs> it is the 2022 Vera Advent Calendar Edition bottle opener that is right so if you needed a bottle opener if you need another bottle opener if you need one for the bedroom the office spare bedroom shop office shop bathroom whatever <laughs> man cave she shed i don't know what you're doing but you've got one right here and it is in the ultra festive christmas colors so what that means is we have completed the vera advent calendar i've got everything minus those last two bits kind of packed away where it should be but to make it easier on you, what we're going to do is flip this thing over and take a gander at what we've got, which is going to be on the other box, unfortunately. Now, this I want to point out, uh, I've covered this in the past, but if you see that funky looking Christmas tree thing, that's actually the stand, so you can sort of display this up, you know, ideally, you know, you would gift this to someone and you would probably give it to them, you know, like between Thanksgiving and the start of December, so they could day by day open it like you're supposed to. But going back to 2010, this is kind of the box art for each particular unit. And if I grab this segment, <laughs> which uh, this is uh, the main box, if you will, and it has what you just saw unboxed in it, this is what I was after. Not this look back in time, no, no, no but the set of contents all right this is what we're, we're going to try to highlight which is super awkward let me tell you uh so bear with me but right there you've got the bit driver again super festive christmas colors stainless that's what you need to know those are the part numbers if you want to add more if you want to customize it tailor it uh, maybe you don't care at all you never use phillips and you prefer you had some squares in there you can go to town and make that happen but what we've got right here uh, you can hopefully it's just I can't tell you how awkward these are to do uh, and especially under the time constraints but that's about as good as it's gonna get so we're gonna roll with it in red number one and number two Phillips these are gonna be standard bits again everything stainless with those 25 millimeter length <laughs> then what you're going to have there with the black collar that'll be a number two posse you get into your Torx offerings here on the driver, it's a T20 and a T25. And then lastly, you've got your five and a half slotted. Thing is, I want to highlight, like, these bits are no different than those bits, okay? So if you sit here and you're like, oh, I don't want a T20 and a T25 in there, you can come up over here and you can pull. Uh, if you want a number one posi to replace the T20 because you'd never use it, make it happen. You can tailor this however the heart desires. Right here, super hard to see it, but you're going to get the, of course, bit holder, and then you're going to get a number one posi, you're going to get a number two posi, and Torx, you're going to get a T10 and a T15. Again, if you want the T10 and the T15 over here in the driver, make it happen, Kevin. You control everything here. Uh, in terms of your metric bits, you've got three, four, five, and six. Six is the odd duck that doesn't have the take it easy tool finder collar. It is lasered. There's a six on there. It's just obviously not going to show up quite as well. And then lastly, you have got the six and a half. Also, not to be forgotten, you've got the rapid adapter bit holder, which again, you can use that however you would like. And then coming down here, sort of the trick thing to me, aside from the double ended, open ended jokers, is the wrench holder itself. This is very, very similar to their hex key holders, but this holds the wrenches. I pre-populated it before we throw that stuff out here. They fit surprisingly well. I'm 
thinking over time it'll wear out. I just don't know how much time. But you're getting a 6x7, an 8x9, a 10x11, 12x13. It's basically 6 to 13, no skips. If you're the type of person and you say, hey, you know, my trim panels use 8, or I get the belly pan off with an 8 and a 10, it would be really nice if I had a 14, 15 instead. Switch them. Take, kick the 6 and the 7 out of there and go to town and buy yourself a bigger wrench. So, uh, last but not least, again, the main highlight for a lot of you will actually be the bottle opener. But uh, what we will do is set this down and hopefully have this at a decent spot so we can showcase this stuff, right? Alright, so what are we looking like with our bit case? Right here, Tic Tac Pack in your back pocket. This is how compact and slim this is. That's slim, right? That's uh, about the size of most of our wallets the way the world is now, right? Just super thin and depleted. But this one packs a punch. A punch of powerful stainless Vera bits. You just flip her back like so. Once again, recapping the set contents. Number one and number two, Posi. 10 and 15 Torx. 3, 4, 5, and 6 in your Metrix Hex. Again, if you're old school SAE, or if you've got like two of these, or you have another bit holder, you can swap stuff around. Whatever you want to do, it'll work with this size of a bit. Uh, and then right there, you got the 6.5. And a lot of you might want to, say, move this and the number one posse over to the driver and then kick back. Um, you know, the T20 and the T25. Just the sky is really the limit with what you have here. Right here, the rapid adapter. This is cool because it's Christmas colors. If you don't know how these work, I'm going to grab a not Vera bit. I'm just going to grab a KC tool bit of Thinx and check this out. Plug this sucker in like so. You're locked. And then you want to get out. And you just press forward and it ejects the bit. So once again, you seat the bit. And you can see it kind of roll back automatically. That was not me. I try to pull it out. I can't. If I want the bit out, I pull up on the collar and the bit ejects. So pretty automated process there. One of the more minimalistic user involvements required on that. And again, you slide this sucker in. This is a pretty tight fit. Keep in mind, it gets a little bit easier as you go. Will it ever wear down? Maybe. I haven't gotten to that point with one of them yet, but... That's what we've got. So that is our bit holder that we'll just place right on top of the bit holder. Up next, we've got this guy, which I have not put these final bits in. So we're just going to simulate it with this. Got the T25, which I actually do use quite a bit of T25. That's what she's going to look like in the magnetic bit holder. And then right here down in the carousel, we're going to take our number two Phillips and... It's out of place, so we'll just stick it over here. Apologies to the OCD people, but that's basically what you're working with, right? You're going to hold six bits in the carousel, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, vacancy. It's going to shut like that. A really nice, good feel to it. And again, right here, you're going to have the button that you press, and when we do that, springs open. You have access to your bits. You can go to town do whatever you want to do from there so there is that right here again we'll just go to this one because again it's it's a selling point for an awful lot of you there's a lot of people that collect bottle openers so this is this year's iteration uh, stamped on there you've got Vera and then 21 of course is going to be here on the handle so again these have been planned for quite some time pretty crafty but uh, really one of the big highlights to me is this. If you're curious what this thing looked like fully populated, it is what you see here. Super slim, super compact. Again, this is 6 through 13. Uh, we're accomplishing that, of course, by way of a double open end, which sort of cheats a little. But this is not a bad way to carry four wrenches around with you, right? So, the thing that's interesting about these, they are very, very slim. The other selling point, if you're unfamiliar with a Joker, these do not have the plate. Some people love the plate. Some people hate the plate. What is the plate? It's basically something that you would see sort of like in place here and it would hold a fastener. Like if we had a nut and we wanted to set it down right here in the back end of the 13 and we were going to try to thread this through some like square tube. So we had a bolt that we were going to thread down into the nut. This would allow me to hold the wrench over here and this 
is basically a third hand feature, right? You know, that plate serves as the third hand, keeping the nut in place. These are sort of the funky 12 point ends. I don't have any metric fasteners handy that are this size. I do have some here, but they're bigger, unfortunately. I could dig some out, but uh, <laughs> that'll take a while. So it very well might still grip one well enough to do that. But in terms of just compact carry, this is pretty solid. A lot of you that do Mac tools, uh, you're going to recognize this sort of the Facom stuff. But uh, basically, this is just like the hex keys. Slide that up, the cover flips open. It's sort of a plastic latch, so again, you can see wear marks on it. They're actually there before I got it. That light, light green there, and then the light green here is sort of where it's straining already. Uh, that could be an issue down the line, but check this out. We're going to just lift this wrench out. This holds them currently brand new out of the box incredibly well. I mean, I have zero qualms turning this thing over, shaking it. Uh, it's not going to come out. I'm going to go one hand here so we don't put strain on the lid. If they were going to drop out of there, they would have dropped out of there. So uh, the way it works, though, it's just kind of like a friction hold, right? So if this measures, you know, 0.285, this is like a .280, and it's just a press fit, and then it's, it's just as easy to get back out. So uh, that, to me, is kind of the cool thing. I don't know about a long-term, if you use this all the time, I think you're going to have this lid fail before anything else gives you trouble. Uh, but again, kind of the big selling point, sort of testing the waters here, is these double open into jokers. So uh, that is that, though. That is the Vera Advent Calendar. Once again, my apologies. I'm extremely pressed for time. I wanted to have this out, you know, like recorded during the afternoon when I get home and uh, not, didn't happen. So, uh, luckily, I don't have work tomorrow because of the wind chills, but it's a deal where it's like, huh, um, we'll see. So, my plan, I'm going to get inside, I'm going to edit this, I'm going to upload it, and it's probably just going to go live in the middle of the night. Maybe I'll wait until 9 a.m., but the intent was to have a very Wednesday for you and uh, sort of a precursor to Christmas. And just sometimes it happens and sometimes life happens, right? <laughs> so, that said, I know a ton of you uh, already have this Vera Admin calendar and you've either A, been opening it and you're just about done, or B, you've already had this thing and you've opened it and you've been using it for like six to eight weeks. If you have, how are you liking it? What do you think of it? Uh, are you using it regularly? Do you use it infrequently? Uh, is it sort of more of a collectible item for you? Um, main thing I'm wanting to know from someone that might actually be using this, say you're throwing this in like a travel bag or your mobile tech or something, I'm a little worried about this one. It seems a little tight coming in. Uh, super cool though. Now the sad thing is, <laughs> there's a very real chance that this comes to production but it's not going to be in the Christmas theme colors right um, but if you do use it frequently and it breaks I don't know that it'll be now and it might not be in then you know like next month or so I would think they're going to have this come to market maybe even a bigger one or maybe they do a small one you know with four inches and a big one with four inches I don't know what they're going to do but I would kind of think if this goes over well, especially, like, if you're like, oh, that, that wrench holder is so cool, why didn't I think of that? We should have done that a long time ago. I think they might bring one to market. It'll probably be black and green, nothing wrong with that. Just it's not going to be your festive Christmassy one. So uh, if that's something, if this does break, there might be a remedy there for you. Maybe the uh, new design will sort of, you know, take into account if everyone's like, hey, my advent calendar wrench holder broke. <laughs> Maybe they'll feel bad and kind of crank it up. For all I know, this thing is just going to break in and work super well, and it's never going to fracture off for years and years and years. Just currently as it sits, man, um, you can see what I'm talking about, where you see that bright green there and there. It's just kind of, it has to really sort of be forced down there, almost like that plastic is too thick. But it's super nice, super cool. And like I said, I think might sort of be testing the waters there to see if they want to bring something uh, standard of era colors into the world for us. So, if you've used the rest of it, how are you liking it? If this is maybe your first experience with Vera, 
what do you think of their bits what do you think of the uh, pop-out handle uh, some of you might be using snot out of the bottle opener hopefully that's going well <laughs> so that is that man this is the 2022 vera advent calendar uh, again if you got ideas on this if you just want to see the box and then see the stuff sit here and we talk about it we can do that if you prefer me going day by day and you know literally hunting around for waldo trying to find day eight like i did off camera uh, we can make that happen uh, it's just it's one of those things it's a little too big for my frame here uh, with this camera and the workbench and then it's just you never know how to approach it, you know. Some of you want the long video. or like, oh, I can't believe that idiot can't see the seven. It's right there. Some of you are like, I just want to know what's inside. Or some of you just want to know what I think of what's inside. Um, some of you want Christmas festive music. Some of you don't. Some of you want death metal. And, you know, let's see how many, you know, bottles we open before we break the thing. So can't please everybody, but I'll, I'll make an attempt to please as many people as possible. Uh, sometimes, anyway. The rest of the time, just do my own thing and don't care. <laughs> so, in this case, I want it to be somewhat enjoyable for you. But uh, I gotta say, for the price point on these, you do get a lot for your money. And they typically are kind of testing the waters with some nice stuff. We'll kind of leave that up to the future to see how it pans out. But... Uh, let me know. How would you rate this one? How do you rate the 2022 advent calendar versus the rest of them? Maybe you started buying them in 2014. Maybe you started buying them in 2020. Which one has been your favorite and why? That's a good topic to discuss here. But uh, yeah, I will leave it at that. I've got, uh, well, I have some stuff out here I have to do, like really, really need to do. <laughs> That's not related to YouTube or anything. And then I've got something else I really, really need to do before the cold front comes so I can have it ready maybe for your Saturday video. So I'll leave it at that if you stuck around this long. Uh, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. With that said, big thanks once again to Colin for sending this out. And uh, let me know your thoughts on any of it, how it's holding up for you, what you're liking, what you're not liking, what you turned out to love. Uh, whatever you want to talk about, throw it down below. Most important thing, though, if you want one of these, get on the newsletter, wait for the emails, it'll come, check the website, whatever social media, and just get it as soon as it's available, you're probably going to miss out. Uh, you know me, I'm thrifty, I look for deals, I hold out, I wait, I take pride in saving money versus like instant gratification type of a thing. This is one of those things. Number one, it's usually priced very well. If you were to add up like what all of this would cost for MSRP right now, you probably came out on top anyway. But it's just I don't want people that want these to miss out on them. Again, and I say that as a guy that makes nothing off of that. I just I'm looking out for you genuinely. That it's sad to me if I know that there was six people that watched the channel and they wish they would have had this and they didn't order it. I'm trying to cover you and let you know like. I, I totally agree. It's like August 17th. I don't really want to think about Christmas presents either. But when this if this thing drops in the middle of August, get it in the middle of August and just put it somewhere. Your toolbox, open it, use it, enjoy it then, whatever. I don't want you to miss out on it. So uh, with that said, I'm going to quit rambling and get on to the next one. And uh, second most important thing i hope you have yourself a fantastic rest of the week i hope the rest of you aren't dealing with negative 35 windshields and i hope you all have a very very merry christmas on that note thanks so much for watching i'll catch you back here for more action from the shop <laughs>